Shazam is easily the best DC Extended Universe movie currently, and I know it doesn't really mean much since uh, most of the movies from the DC Extended Universe are complete shit, but at the same time, Shazam is still a really good movie as a whole. It's not just a good movie because when you compare it to something like Justice League, it looks good in comparison, but because they actually put thought and effort into the film. They improve the action, the heroes, and even the villain. DCU antagonists f***ing suck, and while Dr. Savannah wasn't the most interesting villain, he at least had depth, and could be a badass at some points. Surprisingly enough, the movie even starts with Dr. Savannah's backstory, which I find pretty rare in superhero movies today. We don't really get to see the viewpoint of the antagonist anymore, and something they did better than a typical Marvel movie is that they didn't kill off the villain, they kept him alive for the other movies in the extended universe. Now this villain has an opportunity to be even more fleshed out. I mean, you do have Lex Luthor setting up an evil Justice League, it'd be cool to see past solo villains from other films join up and fight the League. Another great note about this movie is that it is really f***ing funny. One flaw I have with MCU movies as a whole is that these movies try too hard to be funny at some points, but Shazam knew when to be funny and when to take itself seriously. I was going in thinking this movie was going to be pretty cringeworthy, but most of the jokes hit the target. Are there any issues with Shazam? Sure, and they're not really minor flaws. I don't know who came up with the, the bully characters, but they were way too mean-spirited and unrealistic. These two are literally picking on a crippled orphan in front of the entire school, and nobody does shit. That is stupid. I would think at least a couple of the kids would have stepped in. I also think the bully beats up nerd cliche has run its course. It was fine in the older Spider-Man movies, these not those, but now that superhero movies are trying to integrate itself into our universe, they should go for a more realistic approach. And I think this movie was trying to integrate itself into our universe based on the product placement alone. And just like everyone else, I hated the casting for Flash and Homecoming, but I've personally grown to this character as Peter's personal life foil because it is more realistic and believable for someone to be bullied through verbal insults or pettiness as opposed to, haha, we're gonna beat you up because you have no parents. The scene of the bullies attacking Freddie Freeman was kind of distracting because most of the movie was pretty aware of its own silliness and ridiculousness, but here they completely miss the fact that these two bullies are picking on a crippled orphan. This reminded me a lot of the uh, Daredevil movie with uh, Ben Affleck where we see a group of bullies wanting to beat up a blind kid. I don't know, I just don't see that in movies anymore where bullies are this one-dimensional. And one of the bigger critiques I have with the movie is that I really would have liked it if Billy Batson was someone who admired Superman. You know, maybe he was the kid who recorded uh, Superman at the beginning of Justice League with that phone camera. Because Billy Batson is supposed to admire Superman. And that admiration was kind of passed down to uh, Freddie Freeman. And that kind of sucks because... For Billy Batson to have that admiration for Superman, it could lead to some really cool opportunities later on in the DC Extended Universe. There's not really much you could do with Freddie Freeman having that admiration for Superman. Like, it's fine for him to have it too, but Billy Batson should have had the same admiration. But like, maybe the interest of Superman is how these two bond at the beginning of the movie. I mean, some missed opportunities we missed is we could have had that moment where Superman and Captain Marvel fight and Superman ends up killing him, like in an Injustice movie. And that would be so much more impactful that Billy Batson was Superman's biggest fanboy. And to be fair, this is something I would have wanted as opposed to what I got. And for what I got, I still got a pretty decent movie. Overall, I really enjoyed the movie Shazam, and I feel like it's taking the extended universe into the right direction.